This is your brother with another bitch. With another bitch. And his motherfucking car. Another bitch in his car. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nah, his mother dead. Listen to me. Don't come back to my house. Don't come back to my house. Part two of my cheating ex husband. I'm going to fuck you at a hotel with another With another bitch. Good. Thank you. <laughs> he on a visa. Guess what? He, you are about in Nigeria, bitch. Get to Nigeria. You mother go. Obviously, this was sent to me by one of my subs, man. I got some of the best subs on the planet. Uh, so I decided just to share this, man, because this was hilarious. Because this is what I've been talking about. What you just saw, right? <laughs> Man, this has got to be at least, I would say at least 30 years ago when I saw it. Maybe not that quite, maybe 20 years ago. My sister's friends, she had three of them that married Nigerians, right? This happened to all of them. Same thing. Got caught with another chick. And uh, the thing is, fortunately, they didn't get sent back. They're still here. You know, because uh, some of them had babies by them, so they needed the guy to stay here to pay child support. But I saw this personally, right, with, with uh, I think, two or three of my sister's friends. I've heard about this from, from other black women that I worked with that married Africans like this, especially Nigerians. The same thing happened. So I've seen green card tricking, you know, uh, with African men for a very long time. In fact, one of my subs says he knows about three or four women in the DMV area that have been married three times to Nigerian men, five years apiece, they got a lump sum of money so that they can get their visas and stuff like that. But this is quite common. This is quite common. Black women do green card tricking all the time, all the time. The thing is they get mad when passport bros are thinking about doing it. And passport drug bros are not even green card tricking. They're, you know, they're taking their talents and going elsewhere. They're taking their talents and going elsewhere. But a lot of black women are projecting their experiences on the black men, but they won't tell on themselves. But I think this is, you know, as we start to explore this, a lot of this stuff is actually going to come up because a lot of uh, black women have done this and done this on the low and been hush us about it. But you, you see them pop up with these strange last names, with these African last names, and you, you see them speak, you know, perfect English, perfect ghetto English, right? So how you get that last name? Oh, that was my husband. I was married to him for three years and I caught him cheating. I had to, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> but they still carry the last name. This is quite common. My sister had, I think she had two Nigerian boyfriends. So this has been around for a while. You know, this is, I've known this for like the last 40 years. So this is not uncommon, especially amongst Nigerians. Ghanaians are a little bit rare. Okay, the other African brothers are a little bit more rare. I, I guess because Niger, uh, Nigerian has one of the biggest populations on the continent, so I guess that, that's how come they're so numerous. But uh, for whatever reason, black women love Nigerians. They love them. And they green card trick on Nigerians all the time, just like that chick talking about Nash. Talking about Nash. Gotta give the uh, Nigerians credit, man. They got game. They got, they got game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, man. That's all I got for this one. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.